Arirang Prime. All it takes is one touch to communicate. The smart world is radically changing the way we live. IT is now a must in our daily lives. Once again, IT is bringing new surprises just short of a miracle. The Internet of Things. Explore the marvelous world of IoT. This is Incheon International Airport, the world's top-ranked airport in service quality. Its best service is probably the baggage management system. The baggage sorting center is as wide as 20 soccer fields and sorts through an average of 110,000 pieces of baggage every day. But strangely enough, there isn't a single person in sight. This is the pride of the Incheon International Airport, the IoT system. 35,000 RFID sensors read tags on the baggage and help send the bags to their intended destinations. 이런 수화물 분류는 그 수화물 배정 정보하고 그 수화물 소스 메시지를 조합해서 이 서버에서 그걸 조합해서 알고리즘을 통해서 수화물을 분류를 하게 됩니다. 이런 인천공항 수화물 처리 시스템은 아, 현장에 총 88km의 수화물 처리 시스템이 설치가 돼 있고 아, 출발 수화물의 경우는 26분, 탄생은 19분, 도착은 18분 이내 처리가 됩니다. There is a control center overseeing the system. However, if a problem arises, the IoT system automatically plots an alternative route to ensure that every piece of baggage is safely and properly delivered. So really, there is no need for human input. Incheon International Airport's baggage service is the best in the world. The system ensures that even the smallest pieces of baggage aren't missed and that all baggage is delivered quickly and safely. As a result, there are 20 times as few incidents of delayed baggage here than at the airports in Europe. IoT allows devices to communicate between themselves and make judgments. Such smart devices that work without human input are becoming more and more popular. 네, 지금까지는 네트워크에 연결된 사람들이 사용하는 기기에 인터넷 주소가 부여됐고요. 그래서 그 기기들끼리 서로 소통을 하기 위해서는 사람들의 통제가 필요한데 사물 인터넷 시대에서는 사물들끼리 서로 어, 네트워크를 통해서 소통을 하면서 어, 우리 인간이 필요한 그런 여러 가지 정보를 만들어내는 그런 지능형 네트워크라고 이해하시면 될것 같습니다. IoT stands for Internet of Things, a system where devices connect with one another over the Internet without any human interaction. It has been recognized as a highly profitable new growth engine all over the world. Competition is fierce worldwide to become the top dog of the IoT industry. 미국, 중국, 유럽 등 세계의 주요 국가에서는 사물 인터넷을 새로운 먹거리 산업으로 인식하고 국가 경쟁력 기반의 핵심 기술로 이렇게 생각하고 있습니다. 그래서 더욱 치열하다고 볼수 있고요. 사물 인터넷의 핵심 기술인 플랫폼 기술을 중요한 것으로 인식해서 사물 인터넷의 생태계 주도권을 확보하기 위한 치열한 경쟁을 하고 있습니다. We estimate there's 50 billion things that we c o n n e c t to the network in the next five years or so. Um, and IoT is really about how do you connect all of those things 
uh, to the network so you can take advantage of it. It raises some new technical issues as well as some new sort of societal issues. Worldwide networking equipment manufacturer Cisco Systems is a company investing in IoT development. IoT and IOE for Cisco is a very natural thing because it's about connecting things and it's really the next leg of growth for us. Korea, too, is connected by Cisco's IoT. One example of Cisco's IoT system monitors the entire city and looks for potential accidents. If a missing child is reported, all electronic displays will show a picture of the child. 저희가 이제 앞으로 미래에는요 모든 디바이스가 네트워크를 통해서 통신도 하지만 파워도 그쪽을 통해서 전기 전기 에너지도 네트워크를 통해서 공급을 받게 됩니다. Home appliances are joining the IoT revolution and dropping jaws of many homeowners. 웰컴이라는 버튼을 누르게 되면은 저희가 이제 조명도 올라오게 될 거고요. 그리고 블라인드도 올라오게 되는데요. 실제 지금 보시는 것 같이 이런 식으로 조명이 올라왔고 저쪽에 보시면 블라인드가 이제 오픈이 되고 있는 걸 보실 수가 있을 겁니다. 가정 내에서도 저희 화상회의 솔루션을 가지고 교육 서비스라든지 아니면은 헬스 컨설팅 서비스를 받으실 수가 있습니다. A video conferencing system that allows users to talk from wherever they are with whatever device they have. It even allows group calls. IoT, like most other technologies, is a tool. And tools can be used for uh, a number of different things. Um, we expect, like most technology tools, that IoT will bring far more benefits uh, than it brings issues. Autonomous cars, once the staples of science fiction movies, are no longer mere fiction. Let's hop on a smart car and drive through the world of IoT. Today's a good day, it's a great day. Getting ready, feeling steady, come out and play. If you want to join me, why don't you call me? I'm happy to have you in my life. Everything's changed since I met you. I never felt this way before. Now, let's step into a house. The networked appliances at home easily pick up on your feelings and thoughts. They make up what is known as a smart home. Smart home appliances automatically operate when they realize their resident is nearby. They also communicate with their users through mobile messenger apps allowing remote control from outside the home. The smart home is the starting line for the IoT. It will be the standard in 20 years from now and appliance manufacturers are in a fierce competition to dominate those future homes. Right now, we have a lot of isolated dumb devices, light bulbs that are on even when there's nobody in the room, uh, heating systems that are heating buildings when there's nobody there. Um, these, these are enormously wasteful, and when we connect things, we can, we can, in principle, we should be able to much better control uh, our use of resources and 
improve things uh, considerably in that regard. Let's now look at this container. It's a very special container equipped with a solar power generator. What exactly is it? Believe it or not, it's a trash can. Disappointed? But it isn't your everyday trash can. It's an IoT-enabled trash can that makes waste collection more effective. The trash can automatically compresses its contents when it's full. Have you ever seen such a smart trash can elsewhere? In Korea, all trash is thrown away in garbage bags, which aren't exactly cheap. So people fill these bags to just short of tearing. But every now and then, you will see garbage bursting through the plastic. With this IoT trash can, however, overflowing trash is a concern of the past. On top of that, collection is way more effective. This small factory is where the IoT trash can is manufactured. Two young entrepreneurs are responsible for everything from development to production. There is one important task left after making the trash can. It's time to attach an ultrasonic sensor that makes self-compressing possible. This sensor is what defines the IoT trash can. We live in three to me, the Changchakan model also. I'm Chompa sensor, the Lesser, the Mamakum, the Sri Yang Chanji, Hagenago, or the Eligiro, the Poyojugo, Tonghinro, the Internet of Tashi, Oyojuna, the Kaiso, the Jondo, Sugo Hill, the Nopi, the Sinem model. 네, 아무래도 사물들끼리 서로 인터넷 주소를 가지고 소통을 해야 되다 보니까 이제 센싱 기술이 중요하겠죠. 그러니까 사물이 주변 환경에 대한 어떤 데이터를 수집을 해서 그리고 사물 기기 간에 서로 소통을 하기 위해서 그런 센싱 기술이 필요할 거고요. 그 IoT 시대가 본격적으로 도래하게 되면 아마 정보 보안 문제가 굉장히 심각한 이슈로 떠오를 것 같습니다. 그래서 정보 보안 기술도 굉장히 또 중요한 핵심 기술로 인식되어지고 있고요. <목소리> There are three technologies that are mandatory for IoT. Sensing technology attaches electronic tags to relevant objects or venues and provides information and data real-time. Network technology is the basis of communication between devices. But of course, despite all the communication going on among the devices, you will still need human monitoring. This comes in the form of application service. 
telecommunication operators have also come up with their own interesting additions to the IoT world. SK Telecom, one of the largest telecom operators in Korea, has developed and deployed an IoT-backed maintenance system at an eel farm. Thanks to IoT, this farm owner can watch over his farm with a smartphone. The IoT-enabled system automatically maintains tank temperatures, so the owner doesn't have to keep as close an eye on the farm as he did in the past. 차단기에서 온도 센서 차단기가 있어 가지고 어느 정도 온도가 되면은 그 보일러가 돌아가는지 꺼져야 되는데 온도 센서 고장이 나고 또 이게 해 놓은 센서도 고장 나는 바람에 보일러가 그대로 그냥 달리면서 그 온도가 올라간 적이 있어요. 가지고 거기 한 오지에 갖다 전체 다 삶아갖고 죽인 적이 있어요. The water tanks can be monitored on a smartphone or a PC. And if something goes wrong, the system will automatically sound the alarm. Truly convenient, isn't it? This handphone, all the information comes out. So, I can go outside, comfortably, calmly. If I'm at home, I can see all the situations. So, it's a very convenient device for me now. This is an elementary school in Seoul. Today's class is software development, and each student has his or her own teacher. Its name is Ati, an IoT robot. The smart robot is used in the smart robot coding school. The smart robot is used in the PC and software. The smart robot is used in the smart robot. 있어서 그 IoT에 대한 개념이라든지 아니면 더욱 재밌게 그 코딩에 대해서 이해할 수 있는 교육을 생각하시면 됩니다. AT works based on network input. Students type up what they want to say, and AT will voice it. Let's hear what this student has to say. 아티 자기 소개하게 하고 있어요. 아티 자기 소개. 어떻게 만드는 거예요? 이렇게 쌓아가지고 아주 움직이게 해요. It's a robot that reads your thoughts. 안녕하세요. 저희 이름은 이름 소개입니다. 제 장래 희망은 과학자예요. Ati can be used to teach mathematics, English, or other subjects, making it very popular among students. Ati is a good example of the three factors of IoT. IoT needs to demonstrate autonomy. Devices need to be able to communicate with one another through a network. And connected devices need to provide new potentials. Um, well, I think a real promise of the Internet of Things is it will take away tasks or you know, the drudgery of, of living and allow us more time to be creative or expressive. One of the things that makes the Internet of Things interesting is that the things are always watching us, that they're observing what we do, they hear what we say, and so on. This man is wearing an IoT device. So where's the IoT part? It turns out it's within the insoles of his shoes. It's well known that proper walking habits can boost your health. This activity tracker picks up on a person's walking style and speed, using it to adjust the person's gait. Ati 
At the end of the day, the device is placed on the shoe station, which analyzes the data gathered throughout the day and transmits it to the user's smartphone or uploads the data via social media. This information can also be transmitted to the user's personal trainer or doctor for further analysis. This person who is currently performing CPR is a university student researching IoT. He is testing an IoT-enabled mannequin for emergency first aid education. Now, where could the technology be hidden? And there it is, right in the chest. The sensor, connected to a mobile app, picks up on how well a student is performing CPR. 의료 교육 자체가 전통적인 방식으로 이루어지고 있다 보니까 교육을 받은 학생들도 실제 어, 실제 응급 상황에 놓이면 그 실전력이 매우 떨어지는 어, 문제가 있습니다. 그래서 저희는 이러한 문제를 해결하기 위해서 기존의 마네킹과 커뮤니케이션을 할수 있는 매개체를 만들고 이를 통해서 보다 효과적이고 또한 비용 효율적인 방식으로 교육이 가능하게끔 해서 실제 어, 실제 응급 상황에 닥치면 실전력을 높일 수 있도록 하는 교육을 교육이 가능하도록 하는 것에 목적을 가지고 있습니다. 일단 프로그램이 시작되게 되면 먼저 이 프로젝션 모델 같은 경우에는 이제 환경을 그 환경에 이 사람이 직접 있는 것처럼 느끼게 해주는 것이 목적이기 때문에 가장 그 심폐 수생술이 이렇게 빈번하게 일어나는 장소들 중에 하나 시나리오를 선택을 하게 되고요. The simulations here are as realistic as an actual situation. Let's pretend someone suddenly collapses. What to do now? First, confirm. Let's get the sensor going. The sensor is as sensitive as an actual heart, and its data is thoroughly analyzed. A projector on the ceiling connects a computer to the mannequin sensor, making this simulation possible. The Students use a mobile app to check the results of their performances. This emergency first aid education can be taken by many people simultaneously through the usage of mobile apps. 아까 프로젝션 버전 같은 경우엔 주로 이제 한 사람의 교육에 치중한 거고요. 좀더 이제 몰입감 있는 교육을 주는 데 포커스가 돼 있다면은 이제 모바일로 연결해서 하는 것 같은 경우에는 좀더 다수 교육생을 좀더 편리하게 교육하기 위한 용도로 개발을 했고요. The IoT-enabled mannequin is the product of university students pooling their knowledge. The mannequin is still in the development phase, but with the medical and public health fields already expressing their interests, it will soon make its official debut and start playing a part in saving people's lives. 최근에 안전에 대한 관심이나 정책적인 지원이 증가하면서 교육에 대한 수요가 급격히 늘고 있는데요. 이러한 상황에서 저희의 솔루션은 보다 
어, 많은 사람들을 한꺼번에 교육시키고 모니터링하고 관리가 가능하며 어, 교육의 대중화에 기여할 수 있을 것이라고 생각을 합니다. IoT devices that deal with personal health are usually worn around a person's body. There is a lot of potential for IoT healthcare. However, devices must pass stringent medical laws in order to be given the green light. Healthcare에서 가장 중요한 것은 그 법제도 개선이라고 볼수 있겠는데요. 그거는 그 의료계에 또 큰 반발도 예상이 되고 있기 때문에 아, 지금 현재로서는 독거노인이라든가 또 장애인에 대한 그러한 헬스케어 사업, 시범 사업을 통해서 활성화시키는 것이 먼저 중요한 과제라고 볼수 있겠습니다. Let's go to the United States. The U.S. was the first country in the world to prepare for the IoT era, and it boasts the most advanced form of IoT. Google, Apple, and numerous Internet and telecommunications corporations are steering the IoT era in the United States. Here, IoT is said to be a part of everyday life. Let's see an example. We met with Professor David Rose from MIT. Hey, Kevin. Welcome here. Nice to see you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So uh, come on in. Dr. Rose is an avid fan of IoT, and his house says it all. Let's check out some of his gadgets. So uh, there's, this house has lots of interconnected, internet-connected features. Uh, here in the kitchen, we're monitoring uh, how much energy the house is using. So the, the green color shows you that the house is using very little energy right now. And if you want to check the details of that, you can turn it over and see um, how many kilowatts the, the house is using. Uh, so this was designed by Ambient Devices. And one of the earlier products from the same company that I founded uh, was this seven-day weather forecaster. So it shows you what the temperature in, is outside and then gets you from the internet these, this data and can either be projected on this or a little post-it note that you, that you stick on your refrigerator. So in my study here, there are a bunch of inter, uh, enchanted things. Uh, the, the ambient orb is something that I built back at Ambient Devices, and this is right now showing stock market trends. So here on the mantle, is, uh, there's a couple of lights, but this one's internet connected. <laughs> but you wouldn't know it because it's just a beautiful glass, you know, frosted glass orb. But its color is mapped to the stock market. So I would want all internet connected things to be this subtle and this beautiful and sort of fit in with the home as, as people are living today. Wow, the blinds move by themselves. So these shades go up and down with sunset, with the time of sunset every day. So they go down at sunset and they rise with sunrise. So that way you don't have to use this interface and you don't have to use the manual interface. The living room has a lot of technology. Uh, there's, a, there's a coffee table that embeds Google Earth that people can gesture and move around, move around Google Earth and zoom in and out with. Uh, and come over here, I want to show you. <laughs> Actually, the, it doesn't work well through the, um, there it goes. Isn't that a cool device? Uh, I have a, a six-year-old who can, who can, if he walks up to this cabinet, it glows on the other side so my parents know he's there. And then it's just a dedicated connection. It's a Skype connection between him and my parents. So they're in Wisconsin, they're thousands of miles away, and he can talk to them five or six times a day now just with short conversations. IoT devices are in the bathroom too. So this is the inter is internet-connected medication packaging. 
So it knows whether I've opened the top and will send a notification to this nightlight and to the cloud when I have taken a medication. And if I haven't, it will glow first and then play little ringtones and nudge me to do the right thing, to take medications. Uh, so it, it has both the, ch the cap and then this, which is a cellular modem. So those two things can connect. We made a smart pill cap that knows when the, the, the cap is on and also allows you to press for a refill. So this connects to the pharmacy. Um, and if you want, data can also go to your doctor. Uh, so, uh, so this is um, a super simple internet connected medication packaging that encourages people to take their meds over 95% of the time. Dr. Rose says that IoT devices are enchanted devices. They are full of surprises and secrets. Moreover, as IoT connects the world, his family is able to see and experience more. Rose also published a book featuring the highlights of his IoT geared life. You know, when we when I brought a, a coffee table that has an embedded screen that has a gesture control for, for Google Earth, I found that putting that in the middle of the living room changed how much we talked about the world, how much we talked about politics, how much we talked about travel, um, and that was really good change for the for for how we for how we converse as a family. Dr. Rose's life is so intertwined with the IoT that he cannot imagine what life would be like without it, and he is enjoying every bit of it. So the Internet of Things is going to change everything. It's going to change almost every product category today. So. Every, every product category will start to have a tether to individuals. Um, so it's not just sold as product, but it will become service, service plus product. And that's going to disrupt every hardware company in the world, which is in our lifetimes. You know, that's going to be really exciting. IoT can give the best results when it takes into account life trends and issues. Founded five years ago, this company has worked on developing IoT in the fields of energy and environmental conservation. It is also contributing to the effort to reduce carbon dioxide output in the United States. It's invented this IoT-enabled sensor that prevents energy waste. Is that we track energy data. And so by tracking energy data, we can plug into home automation folks and other devices and give them this valuable information about how much energy a whole house is using. So some examples, you could set a rule that says, if my energy use crosses a certain level, then turn off certain lights, right? Or if my energy use is this high on a summer afternoon, then turn down the AC just a little bit. This company features products that measure the power meter every 10 seconds and transmit the information to a smartphone. One thing that we added that people find is pretty interesting is you can choose a date range and then generate a bill for yourself, so to compare it with your actual utility bill. So you can say, okay, like, here's, so up this far, here's uh, the bill that we've generated. And then you can even, if you're a landlord, you can print this bill out and give it to your tenants. Um, so that's pretty useful. Installation is easy, and many people have purchased the company sensors. What kind of benefits do the users have? Hey, hey. how's it going, Greg? Very good. Good to see you. Come on in. Uh, have the, uh, the system. Craig Re Olson, who oh, lives by himself, right bought a sensor last year. Awesome. Yeah. You can see over here the uh, main electrical power shutoff switch oh, yeah, okay. is here. And on the other side is the meter where the Watt Vision system is connected. Okay. The sensor transmits to his cell phone how much power is used in his residence, even showing which appliance uses how much electricity. The system makes me aware of uh, the, the electric 
consumption of just about everything, all appliances, even lighting and so forth. Uh, in the kitchen, I have LED lights, and it's amazing the difference. It's, it's less than half the draw from incandescence. Okay. So, and, and of course, I can do this remotely on my, uh, on my iPhone. I, I can get the same information here. So I have a ranch in Montana. Uh, I travel a lot, and I can always see what the uh, what the electricity consumption is. Olson could significantly cut down on power usage. Now it's up to 14 kilowatts. You can see it really uh, went up. And this is nice because when I'm away from home, uh, I can tell when it's charging. And uh, I always have it begin at 9 p.m. because I pay half rate to my uh, electric company after 9 p.m. So obviously that's when I charge the device. Um, how has watch vision changed how you um, like power things or even live like away at home? Sure. Two things. Number one, it saves me money. And secondly, it saves energy, which I'm very interested in. By being aware of what the electric draw is, you can uh, go around and shut off lights and uh, chargers and things that you leave plugged in. Uh, I used to leave my batteries plugged in for the electric drills, for the portable drills. Now I take them off because there's a small draw constantly. Little things like that add up. It can be hundreds of watts that you're not even aware of. The IoT era is in full swing in the United States, and the nation is making room for even more innovations. As a result, among the G20 member countries, the United States ranks the highest in terms of IoT readiness, followed in second place by Korea. I personally believe that South Korea is wonderfully positioned to both take advantage of this technology and develop the technology. I mean, uh, South Korea has uh, one of the very best uh, networking infrastructures in the world. And that's going to be an enormous advantage because the Internet of Things depends on ubiquitous connectivity and uh, having a good infrastructure is essential to making that happen. We, we're very excited about the opportunities that Korean industry and Korean companies and entrepreneurs have um, in the Internet of Everything um, world. Um, and again, uh, the companies already have a big track record uh, in industries like smart, uh, smart uh, cities, like manufacturing and transportation. At the same time, I do think that, um, uh, that uh, we have an opportunity to um, accelerate some of these activities, especially through help with government. Korea is often called an IT powerhouse. Its outstanding IT foundation is pushing the nation quickly toward the IoT era. This is a large-scale discount retail store in Suwon, Gyeonggi-do province, which uses an award-winning export quality Korean IoT system. It is the electronic shelf label, also known as ESL. It uses Zigbee, a low-power wireless transmission technology to connect different devices and update price changes in real time. It helps reduce paper waste and manpower. The ESL system shows its magic when the store headquarters transmits price information. The information is then input into the ESL server, and the server, often seen on the ceiling of the store, transmits the prices to the labels. Won over by this convenience, many nations, including those in Europe, have implemented this solution. The ESL is considered Korea's representative IoT products. 예, 현재 저희 회사 제품은 어, 특히 유럽 지역에서 많은 반응을 좋은 반응을 얻고 있고요. 특히 영국이라든지 독일 지역에서 그 
저희 네, 많은 지금 매출을 올리고 있습니다. 저희 그 제품 매출의 90% 이상이 현재 지금 해외에서 좋은 반응을 보고 있는 상황입니다. Korea is gathering the passion and creativity of young minds to continue developing some of the best IoT technologies. Recently, an IoT-related competition called K-Startup opened in Korea. This flower pot is the winner of the grand prize. Plenty라는 제품인데요. 어, 사무실이나 집안에 있는 화분을 인터넷에 연결했다고 생각하시면 돼요. 스마트폰을 이용해서 언제 어디서나 집안에 있는 화초를 저희가 친구들이랑 같이, 뭐 가족들이랑 같이 키울 수 있는 그런 제품입니다. All you have to do is run a program on your cell phone for this flower pot to give water and light to the plant. 이 안에는 온도 센서, 습도 센서 같은 것들이 들어가 있어서 그런 그 화초의 환경에 대한 그런 데이터들을 스마트폰에서 다볼수 있고요. 그 다음에 어, 물통이나 그 워터 펌프 같은 것도 포함되어 있어서 보시는 것처럼 멀리 떨어져 있어도 해외에서도 이렇게 화초에 집안에 있는 화초에 물도 주실 수 있고 그 다음에 이제 여기 달려있는 LED를 이용해서 빛이 조금 부족할 때는 빛을 주실 수도 있고 그 다음에 여기 이렇게 보시면 이게 지금 온도 현재 온도고요 그 습도 같은 것도 볼수 있고 그다음에 이제 뭐 친구한테 선물을 하고 나서 친구한테 이렇게 하트 같은 거를 보내는 이런 이모, 이모티콘 기능도 있습니다. This is Kim Hee Young, the CEO of the company that invented the flower pot. He is 30 years old, one of the young minds behind Korea's IoT power. 어, 산물 인터넷 같은 것도 2012년에 우연히 전자부품 연구원이라는 곳에 가서 그 개방형 IoT 플랫폼을 개발하는 일에 참여를 했었어요. 그래서, 그래서 그때부터 산물 인터넷 관련 어떤 제품이나 기술이나 이런 걸 개발을 하고 농업 쪽이랑 연계가 되면서 지금 이런 예, 지금에 이르게 되었습니다. Kim dreams of an IoT where devices and people can share their feelings. His company is touted as one of Korea's brightest IoT venture enterprises. 우리나라는 일단 그 제조 기술력은 굉장히 뛰어나다고 보고 있는데 부족한 면은 이제 창의적인 아이디어를 만드는 그런 이제 교육도 부족했고 실제 그런 거를 성공시키는 사례도 부족했던 게 가장 큰 흠이라서 어 그런 부분을 집중적으로 육성하고 양성하는 프로그램들을 많이 가져가고 있고요. Korea is investing extensively in small and medium-sized companies specializing in IoT. The goal is to boost the number of IoT-related SMEs to 350. 벤처 중소는 이제 어느 저 연구 조사 결과에 따르면 향후 이제 50% 이상의 서비스는 이제 중소기업에서 나온다라고 이제 결과가 나오듯이 이제 사물 인터넷은 대기업이 이제 주도적으로 할수 있는 시장이라기보다는 대중소기업이 이제 같이 융합을 해야 되는 부분이 그런 시장인데 그런 부분에서 중소기업의 역할이 상당히 중요합니다. 그래서 저희는 이제 우수한 아이디어를 가진 중소기업들을 상용화를 지원하고 해외 글로벌화를 지원하는 프로그램들을 지금 돌리고 있습니다. 그래서 그런 방향으로 해서 중소기업들을 계속 지속, 지속적으로 육성을 하고 있습니다. There is also a lot of cooperation between IoT venture companies and university students. One prime example is the Smarty Research Center. It pours out new IoT products and solutions almost every day. But there's more to Link Band than just that. 스마트폰을 놓은 상태에서 거리가 멀어지게 되면 양쪽에 알림이 울리도록 되어 있습니다. If your smartphone went missing, what would you do? This band takes that worry right out of your hands. 
이렇게 연결이 끊어지게 되면 흰색과 빨간색 LED가 교차하면서 강력한 진동이 손목에 전해져서 스마트폰을 다시 찾을 수가 있습니다. This center focuses on IoT that is practical in everyday life. Now, this one is for all budding fishermen. 이 제품은 소나라는 제품입니다. 이 제품을 물 위에 띄우게 되면 이 아래에 있는 센서에서 초음파를 발사시켜서 최대 수심 50m까지 그 밑에 있는 물고기를 탐지하는 제품이고요. Attach this to the fishing pole and throw it in, and you'll get water depth, water temperature, and information of any fish nearby. 지금 여기 2.5m 지점이 예, 저수지 바닥을 가리키는 거고요. 지금 이 위에 부분은 지금 초음파 그 해수, 수면에서 발생하는 노이즈고 지금 밑에는 물고기가 탐지되지 않고 있는데 예, 지금 보시면 여기 2m 지점에 빨간 점으로 나타난 부분이 물고기가 밑을 지나갔을 때 탐지된 부분입니다. 그래서 지금 보시면 어, 약한 10초 전에 2m 지금 깊이에서 좀큰 물고기가 지금 지나가고 있는 거고요. 설정에 따라서 최대 50m까지 설정을 하셔서 깊은 바다에서도 측정을 하실 수가 있습니다. The researchers discuss and debate every day to come up with new ideas. Their efforts and passion will be integral to making Korea an IoT powerhouse. As the world gears up for the IoT era, there is one issue that waits to be resolved. And it is the issue of security. Uh, example and Target uh, and uh, Home Depot examples that have been in the news recently indicate that uh, the more you make systems connected, uh, the more vulnerable you are to uh, malfeasance. I don't think that that vulnerability is an easy problem to deal with. And I think it is one of the biggest challenges uh, in the Internet of Things technology. And we're going to have to solve those, those challenges in order to be able to make this technology work for us instead of working against us. Uh, smart cars are the and 어, 예를 들면 뭐 브레이크 같은 경우도 충분히 이, 어, 스마트폰으로 제어가 될수 있는 거죠. 그래서 IoT는 굉장히 많은 혁신적인 결과를 가져올 수 있지만 생활을 편리하게 가져올 수 있지만 그에 파생되는 위험은 상상을 초월한다고 볼수 있습니다. There have been incidences where IoT systems were hacked, incurring major losses. Korea too has its share of IoT security issues. If there are any slip-ups, the Korean economy could see a damage of over $1 billion in 2015. Subsequently, ensuring proper security will determine the success of IoT in the future. From the design of the design, software, 어, 설계서부터 보안이 철저하게 고려돼서 안심을 하고 그런 서비스나 제품을 쓸수 있게 누가 먼저 만들어내느냐라는 부분이 결국은 핵심적인 경쟁력이 될 것이다. We will soon be surrounded by the world of IoT, where we communicate with devices and confide in them. The foundation is in place for a more efficient, safer and marvelous world. Get ready for big surprises. IoT will be a special gift just for you.